Cancer, hi. All right. Um, I was meditating on your energy. Uh, <laughs> I don't think this reading is going to be all uh, butterflies and rainbows and unicorns because I feel like they're... Something went down. Something went down. Um, I keep hearing that song, Nobody's Fool by Cinderella. And then You Ought to Know by Alanis Morissette. I feel like either you caught somebody cheating or um, they left you for somebody else and you're not a fool. You're not taking them back. I feel like you are... I feel like it's a mess. Um, your person's overall energy, we have material harvest, prosperity begins. So I do feel like maybe they were like, oh, okay, you know, I'm going to have a new beginning somewhere else with somebody else. Some time is going by and now an awareness. It's not what they thought it was going to be. The grass wasn't greener. All right. Um, I do feel like the two of you don't get mad at me. I do feel like there is some kind of like destiny here. Something is meant to happen. This could be a lesson that was meant to happen. This the, Something along those lines. Um, but I do feel like this person is reflecting and has an awareness that you were their happiness and they've made a really big mistake. So let's get into it. Let's see what's going on, Cancer. All right. Subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Comment on this video. If you want to book a personal reading, information is in the description box. All right, so Cancer's person. Keep in mind, it's a general reading. It could be flip-flopped and reversed. So when I say your person, it could be you, all right? Oh, we have Page of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Was this like a workplace thing? Did you catch them? Did they leave you for somebody that they worked with? They got tempted. They thought it was going to bring them some kind of stable new beginning, I'm telling you, they're they're not in a good place. We'll we'll see. I just every part of me is feeling that way that they're miserable. They wanted some kind of a change. They thought it was going to be a good change, a positive change with commitment, house, home commitment. The communication was probably good. I know these are things you probably don't want to hear. I'm just trying to tell you this person's energy. All right. So where is this person at now? What's going on with this person? Cancer's person. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Capricorn could have gotten in the way. Aries, Queen of Wands, victory and success. So whenever I see like King or Queen of Wands, yes, it's Aries, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. But I usually take that as my single pair, the attraction, the passion. And then with, with Queen of Pentacles or King of Pentacles, that would be my more um, stable commitment, um, probably married type of, type of energy. They're both here. So it's almost like, did you have that commitment, that stability with this person? They got tempted by this Queen of Wands. You know what I mean? That type of, type of thing. Oh, yeah, they did. They did. They were thinking with their wrong brain <laughs> here. It was temptation. They, they, they chose wrong. They chose wrong. Let's see. What are the blockages between the two of you? And now they're, they're not single? They're not happy, though. This person's not happy. Things are weighing heavy. It's, it was, you're probably not going to want to hear this either, but I don't want to sugarcoat nothing. I honestly feel like it was an attracted thing, attractive thing, attraction thing. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, that drew them to this other person. It was, it was the desires. You could have a family with this person, children with this person. I feel like communication is blocked right now. There is conflict. A new beginning in love is blocked right now. This person is starting to regret what they did with this Queen of Wands, this Aries energy. Again, showing up. That's who, that's who got in between. Could be any sign, but it is the Queen of Wands. Now they're stuck. They're not happy. There could be a lot of arguments, drama, fighting with your person and this other person. 
They are trying to walk away and end it. They are. All right, let's see. Uh, how does this person feel about you? How do they feel about cancer now? How are they feeling? They feel like you're very cold and cut off, as you probably should be. Libra energy. You're not chasing them. You're not. You're not chasing them. Good. You're healing. And that's what they feel like you're doing. And I feel like that is what you're doing. You're, you're not giving them the benefit of knowing that you're upset or you're hurting. You are taking the time and you are healing. And you're not chasing them. You probably blocked them. Hopefully, it was you that blocked them. But I don't see communication happening right now. You are... <laughs> you are trying to manifest the past. Don't get mad at me. Energetically. Or they feel like they're trying to manifest you back from the past. All right? Which clearly they are. They have regrets. Sadness, loss, regret, remorse about you. And this Aries, see? This Queen of Wands. Their ego got in the way. Their ego got in the way. The temptation. Strength, confidence, courage, and now the hermit. Oh, they're regretting this, Cancer. I feel like they do want to talk to you. There was a backstab betrayal, a painful ending. They know they weren't fair to you. They walked away for the temptation. It's literally repeating itself right here. Oh, all right. Let's see. What is this person going to do? What are their actions? Now they're feeling abandoned, left out in the cold, left hanging. What, what is this person's actions, their intentions towards cancer? Removing a third party situation. Okay. For a new beginning in love, Ace of Cups. And rebuilding and putting the burden down. They want to talk. They they want to talk. They don't want to be with this person anymore. They're trying to get the strength, confidence, and courage to move into calmer waters. Wow. There's a lot of fighting going on with this person and that other person. Could be dealing with a Taurus or an Earth sign. Doesn't have to be. This person may want to come towards you as King of Pentacles. Grounded, stable, ready to commit. I feel like that's their intention. It's like, you had your chance, though. I'm not sticking up for this person in any kind of way. I don't want you to get the wrong idea. I'm just telling you the energies, all right? Oh, there's tower happening. Drama, arguments, tower. Trying to move on from that. This person, yeah, there's a lot of stress. There's, It's toxic. It is. It's toxic. Where this person's at. They fell for the temptation. It was probably a really bad karmic cycle. They probably had to learn something from this. This separation between the two of you. Their temptation to realize what they lost and what they had. Because this, whatever's going on in this person's life right now, they're not happy. It's it's stressful. It's arguments all the time. It's drama. It's not good. And all while that's going on, this person is like really having this awakening about how happy they were when they were with you. All right. So what are you going to do, Cancer? What are you going to do? What are your actions here? There's that Taurus energy again. House, home, commitment. So King of Pentacles, house, home, commitment. Nobody's fool. <laughs> Are you going to be a fool? Are you going to 
take that risk, take that leap of faith. You don't know. You don't know yet. You want a stable new beginning, though. I mean, you could be, if, the, if you're not dealing with a Taurus or an Earth sign, you could have one coming towards you. It's like trust is broken now. How do we regain that trust if I do go back to this person, you know? Mm. I don't think I don't, mm, I don't think you're gonna take this person back. Oh, I have Leo, King of Wands, the past, Ace of Cups. You know that's not going to make you happy. You're kind of at like a, at a crossroads. Or you will be. When this person tries to reach out and talk to you to, to reconcile things, you are going to be at a crossroads here. And I do feel like you have another option. Which, go figure, right? It's going to be one of those things where you finally, like, start seeing somebody else. You're moving on. You're happy. And then, bam, this person comes back. It's a test from the universe. That's what it is. The universe is going to test you to see if you really want what you're trying to manifest. A new person that loves you and cares about you and treats you right and doesn't hurt you and doesn't cheat on you. Someone you can trust. You're manifesting that. And the universe is delivering but they're also going to send this person back for a test to see what you do. That's what's going to happen here. You're, I, I do feel like you're, you're going to pass the test, Cancer. I do feel like you're going to move on to a new person. Who is this new person? Real quick, real quick. Who is this new person? Because that's who I see commitment with. Two of Cups, equal exchange of love, soul bond, soulmate bond. There you are, Knight of Cups. It could be, um, I have Queen of Swords too. It could be a Libra or it could be a, a Pisces or another Cancer. So it could be, and I also have Taurus and Leo. So, But I feel like that was like the sign you were dealing with. I feel like you were either dealing with a fire sign or an earth sign. Single, solo, independent, communication, page of pentacles, heartache, pain, disappointment, and reverse, and the wheel. You're moving on to something new, and that something new is going to be good. I feel like there's a really strong connection there. Uh, subconsciously, though, Cancer, you are waiting to see if this person reaches out. For I feel like it's more for closure to you, so that way you can be like, all right, you know what? I Now that I know that they're sorry and that they screwed up, I'm okay moving on with my life in a different direction because I got that closure. <laughs> it, it's kind of what closure is, right? To know that that person is sorry. I think you are going to get an apology but you're, you're moving on to new. Some of you may not. Some of you may do the cycle again. Some of you may. I mean, it's a general reading. I'm not here to tell you what to do. Some of you may choose to give this person another chance. Some of you may not. If you do choose, what does the future look like? You'll heal. You'll heal. I don't think it'll change the tower. I think it'll be good for a little bit. And then what this person did to you is going to, it's going to bother you and it's going to creep up and then you're going to feel stuck. And then you're going to feel like you made the wrong decision. So it's up to you, but I don't see... I don't see this person coming back long, long term. I feel like j just because they feel like, oh, you know, I'm losing, losing cancer and I made a big mistake. I don't know. Teach their own. 
you, you do what you want. <laughs> I'm not here to tell you what to do. All right, anything to clarify this reading for Cancer? Unfinished business. Breakup. So unfinished business. It's not over patterns, back and forth, baggage. Breakup. Walking away, ending separation. It's over. Signs and synchronicities. You may be seeing number patterns, signs. Speaking of number patterns, I do see 111. That's it so far. So 111, which could be a new beginning. Truth. Confession. Clarity. Reveals. Secrets. You're going to get the truth from this person. You are going to get an apology from this person, but I feel like you are going to move on. Most of you. All right. What would this person like to say to you? Oh, look, heartbreak. Hurt, betrayal, grief, disappointment. Yeah, you're heartbroken. Of course. But they're going to be heartbroken when you're moving, moving on. Run away. Would you pack a bag and meet me in Hawaii? I just want to get away from the world and be alone with you. <laughs> now they want to run away with you. You're so smart. Your intellect really turns me on. You're so smart, and I really enjoy our conversations. They are missing you, especially because things are not good in their life right now. It's really heightened that for them, you know? I just keep hearing, oh, I didn't sign up for this. This isn't what I, this isn't what I thought this was going to be. I didn't sign up for it. Neither did you. You're my soulmate. It must be written in the stars because you most definitely are my destiny. We belong together. See, and destiny is here. This person does feel, that's the problem. It's like they really do have that awakening, that awareness that you two are supposed to be together and they really messed up and made a big mistake. But I feel like they come back genuine, but it just turns temporary because then that temptation comes back or it goes back into the, the old flow, you know, uh, wild side. There's a side to you I haven't seen and I want to. I want to see you let loose and get wild. Let's have some fun. And I'm sorry. I hate how much I've hurt you. I'm so sorry for all the pain I've caused. You don't deserve any of it. No, you don't. You don't. All right, letters. Could be first, middle, last name. Could spell a name. Could spell a word of significance. Place it where you see fit. All right, we have Y-E-Z-X-V-N-S-C-K. I'm also seeing um, L-B-T. So L-B-T, Y-E-Z-X-S-N-V-K-C. All right, numbers could be birthday, anniversary, number of days, weeks, months, years, could be angel numbers, data significance, place it where you see fit. All right, we have 11, 11, 10, and 4. So there's those ones again. There's five ones here. There's three ones there. There's a lot of ones. I do feel like there's a new beginning for you. Ones are usually a new beginning or manifesting. And I'm going to roll 11 again. So 11 came out again. It's meant to be. So 11, 11, 10, and 4. So November, October, and April. All right. Zodiac signs. Could be who you're dealing with. Could be strong placements in their charts. Your chart uh, could be something that happens in that season, like cancer season, for instance. We have double Aries, Pisces, and Virgo. Taurus. Yeah, strong um, earth again coming through. So Aries, Taurus, Virgo, and Pisces. All right, Cancer, that's what I have for you this week. Love and light. Take care.